What would Halloween be without some spooky bubbling liquids like this? All thanks to dry ice. A couple quick tips with dry ice. Uh, an amazing substance here. It's frozen carbon dioxide. So it's a solid that turns into a gas without being uh, a liquid, not going through that phase change to become a liquid. You can find dry ice, of course, at your grocery store. You can't touch it, however. I like to go with a glove and a cooler. That's how I bring it home again. I've got this little cooler here that works well. But I like to have a glove 110 degrees below zero. So you have to be very careful. You have to make sure that kids don't touch it as well. One of the secrets is the temperature of the water. So I have two containers here. This has cold water inside. So there's the dry ice and the cold water. And this one here, we're going to use warm water. I want you to see the same size piece of dry ice. Watch what happens. Well, it's hugely different, right? So you want to always use warm to hot water when you're playing with dry ice. Uh, if you put it out on the porch, you've got a pumpkin there. Change the water out every once in a while and it will give you much, much better uh, fog that gets produced. But when you drop dry ice into a liquid like this, you actually make carbonic acid. When you're drinking soda, that carbon dioxide that's in there is tingling on your tongue. So you can use carbon di or use uh, dry ice to be able to carbonate a beverage if you want to. Just make sure that you don't drink the beverage with the dry ice in it. Let it completely disappear and it will become carbonated. But that carbon dioxide that's in there is actually a weak acid. And so you can do some cool things with it. And it's our very last thing. Look at this, this colored water that you see here, thanks to red cabbage juice. So I took a, a leaf of red cabbage, ground it up, put it in uh, here with some water. And so this is red cabbage juice. This is an indicator from the uh, chemistry lab called phenolphthalein and another red cabbage juice. Let me just drop these down inside so you can kind of see what happens. You don't want to take your eyes off of them because you start to see some color changes that, were, that are there. As it starts to bubble away, it now becomes an acid. And so it looks like it's changing color right here. Do you see the color changes? <gasps> Absolutely amazing. Look at this. It went from purple into that green, now into the yellow, all thanks to red cabbage juice, which is fantastic. And if you look at this one right here, that pink magically disappears. It's Halloween science magic. It's easy to do, and all you need is just a little uh, carbon dioxide in the form of dry ice. I'm Steve Spangler, and this is your Halloween spooky science minute. Tell me that's not cool.